so it is extremely beneficial. We'll say that it is extremely beneficial that we begin to allow ourselves the ability to accept who we are. Because while we are manifesting beings, and we can become oftentimes confused by this, we're manifesting beings, we're here to manifest experiences, people, places, things. We're here to manifest all of this, which always causes us to seek something new or seek something more. But what helps us is the understanding or perhaps, perhaps the idea, the idea that where I'm at right now is okay. Perhaps the idea that where I'm at right now is where I'm supposed to be. Because I can't be anywhere else. There's, I can't be anywhere than other where, other than where I'm at right now. I can't be anybody else, you know. So if we can just give that some thought, I'm not asking you to make it your truth. I'm not asking you to, you know, to um, hold on to it as if it's <clears throat> the most accurate thing you've ever heard. But I want it to be something that you plant seed wise for consideration. Okay, if I accept myself for where I'm at right now. What, what, what might happen? I know for me, as I started to uh, accept not just myself, and this could be said for a lot of other things, like accepting a situation for the way that it is or accepting the ending of something and maybe not even having the answer as to why it had to end or why it had to change, but just accepting that it is right now what it is. It is what it is because it can't be anything else. So when we apply this to ourselves, oftentimes what this does, I know for me, it took a lot of pressure off. Because when I sat back and I really considered what it was I was feeling or how it was that I was thinking, a lot of the time it was future-based, which caused anxiety because I can't jump into the future and I can't have what it is that I'm wanting to create in the future. I have to be present in this now moment. I have to accept right now where this, where this moment is, where I am in this moment. This does not mean we settle at all. We don't want to settle for where things are right now. We don't want to settle for this is as good as it's going to get. We don't want that. What we want is to accept. Give ourselves permission to accept. It's not It's not that we can't do that. Like there are people that are like, no, 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 no. I, I can't accept where this is right now because I, this isn't what I want to see. But when you give yourself permission to do so, you take pressure off of having it to have to be something different. When you accept yourself as a loving being, okay, when you accept yourself as, you know, someone with maybe what we would consider in the human form as flaws, spirit doesn't see anything like that. Spirit doesn't see a flaw. Spirit doesn't see an error. Spirit doesn't see a mistaken step. Spirit doesn't see anything other than love for us and other than magnificence for us. We are the ones that are labeling it good, bad, or, or indifferent. We're the ones doing it. And when we take a step back and recognize that, you know, uh, we are spiritual beings and spiritual beings that came here, the odds of being here, so rare, so slim to none, like one in 400 trillion, the odds of being a human being, the odds of being here and coexisting together. That's crazy odds, right? Crazy odds. And if we can consider that we bravely step forth into this knowing that when we got here we would experience this journey is all it is this journey that one time at one time will end and we will get to go home this is just a journey this is temporary this is not the be all end all this is a temporary journey when you accept that you're here to experience this it gives you your power back. It gives you your, your ability to shift things and move in a different direction or move in a different energy. Or, you know, we hold ourselves back by saying, I can't accept that of myself. I can't accept that C in math. I have to have an A. I can't accept myself as single. I have to be married. I can't accept myself as, you know, um, lack, lacking confidence or lacking money. I have to see myself as super confident and rich. I can't accept myself. But if you don't accept where you are right now, you aren't given the next step, which is the healing. 
that needs to occur in order to get you closer to what it is that you're wanting. We're not separate, separate from the whole, okay? We're not separate. We are individualized extensions of source. And I saw this um, meme, I think it was on Instagram, that was absolutely, fantabulously perfect, could not have been a better thing. If we consider source as the palm of our hands, source, universe, God, we're extensions. We're never separate. Here's Shafan, here's Jackie, here's Julie, here's Rosa, here's Donna. We're, 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 we're all still connected to the whole. We're still one, right? But we're extensions of it, which means we can connect back to it at any time. We're not separate. We're not inadequate. We're not unworthy. We're not, you know, um, sink or swimming out here on our own. That's not who we are. But unless we can start to accept that right now, I feel low vibration. Until I can say to myself, I feel low vibration. I'm accepting that in this moment, I feel low vibration. I don't feel happy. I feel depressed in a way. I feel anxious in a way. I feel like I'm ungrateful in a way. You can't give yourself permission to move from it until you accept it for what it is right now. You've got to know how you feel in order to move it. Does that make sense? You're not inadequate. You're whole. You're complete. We're all complete. We're all one extension of source. When we begin to appreciate the self, the self that is who we truly are, Okay, who we truly are. We can start to appreciate the who we truly are when we can start accepting uh, where we are in this moment. Because this is all temporary. This is all temporary. The weight that we might be carrying is temporary, physically or energetically, temporary. Okay? The feelings that we're having, completely temporary. The experiences that we're having, completely temporary. Okay? Accepting it is just basically saying it is what it is for right now. It is for what it is for right now. We let ourselves off the hook from it having to be any different. Where do, we get where do we get caught off guard with this? Or where do we get choked up with this? We get choked up with this when we, when we look at, okay, but I made a, an error in some way, and so now I'm not where I should be. I made an error. I made a mis mistake. I, I, I misjudged something, or I did judge something, and now I'm not where I want to be. I can't accept that, 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 that I did that in, incorrectly. But what if that was all absolutely perfect and what was meant to happen? What if what happened in childhood was meant to happen? What if what happened in teenage years was meant to happen? What if a divorce was meant to happen to get us to where we are supposed to be? We're still back here struggling with the accepting part. But the more that we can say, it is what it is. I am where I am. I need to work through these emotions of you know, letting this go or giving this to my guides, accepting it for what it is so that I can begin to release energy and bring in new, okay? I might not appreciate where things are right now, right? Appreciating meaning I might not like it, but I remember who I am, a spiritual being having an experience here in the physical world. I can change it at any time. All I need to do is become a little bit more aware of what it actually looks like and how it actually feels. These are the indicators for what you need to heal in order to make things shift and change for yourself. Not accepting you isn't going to get you where you want to be in the future. Awesome. Thanks for joining me.